All right, when you're powering up your Vanguard, you want to go into your power settings. Overpower your attrition. Overclock your Sukaran FR and all four of your ATVSs. That gives you the most possible DPS. It also gives you the most protection. It renders ballistics completely impotent. You are slightly more vulnerable to a proper energy build, but it's worth it to completely neutralize ballistics like that. Please stop telling these kids to buy Cutlass Blacks. It is not a jack of all trades. It is a can barely do anything. It is one of the easiest ships in the game to kill. It is thoroughly impotent. Please stop telling them to buy it. Do not request landing at PO, but if you do, know that you're probably going to be in combat when you take off. So when you leave that pad, expect to get shot at. Don't just hover above the pad sitting there because you're a sitting target. Again, with light fighters, you know, there's a tiny, tiny percentage of pilots that can absolutely 1v1 me in their light fighter against my vanguard, but that's completely and totally a case of just overpowering skill gap and has nothing to do with the ships. That pilot would beat me no matter what ships either of us were in. It has nothing to do with the ship that he's using. So keep that in mind. You know, nine, nine out of 10 times, a light fighter is going to engage me and spray my shields a little bit and then he's going to have to run away because his shields are done and he's taking damage and he's never going to be able to stay on target long enough to actually even get my shield done let alone hurt me. Okay, this distortion scatter gun build is not for PvP. It is for people who plan to only do PvE. Do not bring a distortion scatter gun to a PvP engagement unless you know in advance that you're going to be fighting a player fitted hammerhead or carrick. It's also worth noting that the distortion scatter gun isn't even the best for PvE. The whole reason why I often fly my Sentinel instead of my Warden, which I enjoy much, much more, is simply because so many bounty hunters show up in Sentinels, and then they show up with these distortion scatter guns, never get my shields down, and they don't even EMP me correctly, which means I should have been in my Warden anyway. So if you're gonna fly a Sentinel, especially if you're gonna fly a Sentinel and come attack me, please use your EMP properly. I have yet to still be EMP'd, so <laughs> let's make that happen. The problem with ships like the Eclipse, Gladiator, Retaliator, etc. is that they are support ships. They are not meant to go out and engage people in dogfights. You have some stealth advantage in some cases with uh, like the Eclipse for instance. But as soon as you get radar lock, I know you're there. As soon as you fire a missile, I know where you are, and then I'm gonna come kill you. Or you're gonna have to run away. I'm gonna shoot your torpedo out of the sky, etc. So just keep that in mind if you're flying a ship like that. It's intended to be flying with other ships in support of them. All right, this is the same dude uh, from earlier that was using the distortion scatter gun. I uh, gave him some advice on build and he came back for another round. Uh, you'll notice that he does much better now. He's rocking the attrition with the ATVSs. It's a uh, much, much more PvP viable build. As I advance, I'm trying to you know, boost in to get close and then get around behind him. And then I'm going to be strafing to the side to try to keep his guns off of me and my guns on him. Uh, pretty standard. The reason I like to do this in atmosphere more than space is because people can't quant away or even run away to regen their shields once they're done. You know, in 
it in atmosphere and get in and fight until someone's dead. There ain't no running. What stands out to me as the biggest mistake people commonly make in dogfighting is simply a lack of commitment. Uh, it almost feels like they're advancing cautiously. Uh, in my opinion, that is not the way to do it. If we die, we die. Just move in, get balls deep, face fuck your target until you're dead or they're dead. You know, either way, have fun with the fight, but just get in there and get it done. If you are being cautious, it just seems like it really uh, helps me obliterate you. All right, let's talk to Harbinger. This is a ship I have never seen a single person use correctly. Those size 5 scimitar torpedoes should be locked and fired within 50 meters of your target. You want to boost in towards your target and fire that torpedo while you have forward momentum at your target. And that torpedo will devastate you with full shields that will turn my entire core of my ship red. If I have a shield down at all, I'm dead. But nobody uses it correctly. And I, it's kind of odd. Something you see me do a lot is target the engines of ships. Uh, this serves multiple functions. One on larger ships like the 600i, uh, even 890 jump, the carry, uh, hammerhead, etc. It focuses everybody's fire onto the same point on the back of the ship and helps bring the shields down much quicker. Two, it's good practice for disabling ships for the future when salvage comes into play as well as various aspects of piracy and lastly it's just plain fun uh, shooting off the engines of a ship and then making them crash or whatever is just hilarious it also deprives the opponent of the opportunity to press charges for homicide which i think is the only satisfaction they gain out of a fight so uh i like to take that option away from guys them, again then have to decide whether blacks. or not to kill themselves <laughs> unless you're going rock mining there's no reason for me to, to kill as well black. so just stop that's just part of my gameplay loop it's kind of fun Freelancer uh, Miz is an interesting ship because if it's flying in support of people, like say with a full loadout of distortion, it can be a pretty nasty support ship. But on its own, it's just completely helpless. Especially like this guy has a, a full ballistic loadout. That's not going to do anything to me. He's wasting his time. He should have tried to run away as soon as he saw me and not try to engage me. But it is what it is.